Oh, what a goal. Oh. What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel today. We are going to be checking out Fernando Torres El Nino. 500 coins, you're guaranteed to get him and this is what's included, right? So it's 500 coins as I said and then also on top of that you will get 24,000 trainers. Listen, I think the attraction towards Torres is the fact that you have no randomness in this. You are guaranteed to get him. It's like the Perez pack that they brought back uh, or they brought out a couple of a couple of months ago. Um I've played with Torres quite a lot, right? I am going to do an in-depth review. I will have a couple of clips on in the background of this video as well while I'm talking and just kind of showing you his movement and stuff. I think it does depend on the build uh, that you make for him because he does have one or two weaknesses and he doesn't compare to the meta boys such as Romario, Saviola, Michael Owen who's going to be coming on Monday. He's not going to be like run and gun like that. He's more like Diego Forlan, Shevchenko, kind of a mix, kind of like Cristiano Ronaldo style, where he does have pace, he does have strength, and his movement is phenomenal, right? His attack and awareness is the key to this build, and I'm going to show you the best card and the best build for this in a second, right? But just looking at his card here, it's 29-year-old Fernando Torres. You're guaranteed to get him with the 500 coins, and these are his stats straight off the rip with the booster. He's shooting plus two, and as I said, he does have nice skill moves as well. You just need to give him flip-flap. I'll show you the best card and the best build for him in just a second, right? I'm not going to make this a longer video than it needs to be but he's a very decent card right and you'll see with the couple of clips that we have ha have on here um this is kind of what it's all about with fernando torres you know and you can just look at his movement look at the way he's actually kind of like holding the line in some clips he's really really good at shooting from left or right foot um the one thing i think a lot of people don't really kind of like talk about enough i think is outside curl now torres doesn't have outside curl off the rip but he still has pretty decent, you know, weak foot accuracy, even as a medium. And he doesn't, he only occasionally uses it. I think that's something that they've kind of tried to add into the game. Sometimes you'll miss open chances where the player will just completely miss chances or hit the post if you haven't set the angle correctly. So it's all about lining up the angle. But again, that's getting into like the itty gritty that you don't really need. You know, if you get a chance, you should be converting 75% of the time. But this is the build that we have gone for right here on the screen, right? So this is the Fernando Torres build. He's going to go to about 100 overall, right? This is his 97 overall card. It is with the champs. We've got five into shooting, and then you can just follow down. Zero into passing, eight dribbling, 14 into dexterity, six into lower body, um, and four into aerial strength, right? So you might be thinking to yourself, is this a card, right, that I am going to be able to use? Now, we've also, I would definitely recommend giving him the agility uh, booster or for the booster crafting for a plus one to that. And that's what's going to give you these stats here. You're going to have a massive 95 attack and awareness stat. You're going to have ball control over 85. Dribbling is at 80. Tight possession is going to miss out a little bit. You're not going to get to that 80, but you will have 91 balance and 90 acceleration and 90 finishing. So, it's definitely not like a meta card. There's there's just no com comparison between some of the meta boys, you know. Um, but this card kind of reminds me of Forlan, who I really did like. Skills to add. Flip flap, outside curler, cut behind and turn, one touch pass, long range curler. Obviously, you can kind of like modify that to what skills you have available to give as a legacy transfer or what skills you're using, you know. Now, also, I would say 90 finishing. Is it enough for Torres? Yes, I would say that it is. I mean, if you're struggling to finish with a 90 rated player, uh with finishing i would definitely say focus on the angle of the shots that you're taking and the uh, level of difficulty for the shots right it's a really solid card man for 500 coins he's not meta though and that's kind of where people will probably fall down on right but as you can see there in a couple of clips that are going i definitely had fun playing with him i don't think that he's going to be you know a division one type player but yeah he's deceptively strong as well that's the thing he's kind of like ronaldo and forland that way and shevchenko that when they get ahead of you it's very hard to stop him and he did score some good goals for me so let me know what you guys think of torres did you actually go for him it's just a quick video short and sweet about four minutes as we do no waffle just straight to the point not going to complicate it too much he's just under meta if i was doing a tier list for torres he'd probably be b i would say in terms of like all the other cards you're talking about romario saviola showtime and bappe at like an s tier torres would be kind of flirting with an a but kind of a high b maybe low a it depends i might do a tier list on all the new players but let me know what you guys think that is my build for him and i'll talk to you in a bit peace